Hello and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to take a quick look at these brand new, fresh out of the box from Mashdrop keycaps by Taihao. These are ABS double shot injected keycaps. They are strictly for Cherry MX Switch uh, keyboards, which you'll see in a lot of customized DIY kit keyboards. Uh, this is actually a very budget option, so if you're looking for something that's going to be more of a higher end keycap, I would definitely not pick these up. But uh, for a lot of you budget builders out there, I want to do a quick video for you guys because most of you are just getting into the hobby and need a decent keycap uh, just to get you started until you can wake your way up to GMK and other EPBT style keycaps. So without further ado, let's go ahead and do a quick test and unboxing of these keycaps and do a quick comparison between the KP Republic keycaps I have here and some of the other Amazon options that I have in my arsenal. The two key switches I have here are the favorited Novel Key Cream. This one in particular is not lubricated. And then I have the secondary tactile favorite, the MX Gateron Blue. This one is also not lubricated. And then I'm going to grab a couple Amazon options that I have and compare the sound and feel to all of them. This is uh, a fairly cheap key which is honestly around the same price point of $19 uh, prime delivery. Now you can see this one uh, even just looking at it doesn't look anywhere near as quality as this tie out keycap. Even when you look underneath this mold at the bottom of it is clearly uh, really uh, poorly done. You can see that the shine in this one is much more even than the one that's from Amazon uh, so that's kind of a plus and then we'll go ahead and pull out the YMDK keycap that I have this keycap here is the print screen keycap this is the YMDK PBT and the reason why uh, I prefer these over some of the other switches that I've come in contact with is because these have a pretty good thickness when I say thickness, in comparison, you can see uh, a fairly good difference in their thickness. Though it's side by side, you may not notice it, uh, but I can tell a big difference. Now, as far as rigidity, I'd say the PBT is definitely more stiff and rigid, not as flexible at all. Whereas the ABS Double Shot tie-out is also pretty rigid but you can definitely tell it's a little bit more flexible than the YMDK. And lastly, the keycap that I have here, this is the KP Republic PBT keycap. And these right here are just about as thick as the PBT YMDK. So first off, we're gonna test out the Taihao keycap and see how it sounds in comparison to the others. Now we're going to try out the blue tactile switch. Next up we're going to try the $19 Amazon keycap set. Next up is the YMDK keycap. And last but not least, we are trying out the KP Republic keycap.
So just a reminder, we have our Tehau, our Amazon, YMTK Amazon, and our KP Republic. So now that we've tested all those, let's go ahead and test out the sound on a full setup Taihao keyboard, uh, just to see how the keyboard keys sound on a keyboard installed. What we're going to be using today is a Tofu 60. We're going to install these and test out the sound. I actually already have another set of keycaps by Taihao on the Tofu 60 pre-installed, and we're going to test it now. Just a few things to note, uh, the keycaps themselves, a majority of them are totally fine. The actual quality is pretty consistent, however I have noticed there are a few that are inconsistent in quality. Um, sometimes you'll see these little mold marks on the side, We've got little pieces here, uh, that basically like little plastic specks from where they had a mold set up. You'll see some little scratches on the bottom here. Uh, you'll also notice uh, when you get your spacebar, uh, the spacebar itself is very different in comparison to the actual keycaps. As you can see, the width of it is pretty much the same, but the thickness of the material is a lot thinner. And as you can see, it's nowhere near as rigid or as structurally sound as the regular keycaps. Uh, and this is Maybe my only two pet peeves about this, I know that it is a budget set, uh, but that is something that I would like to warn anybody who's considering picking these up, uh, you will have that issue. The space bar, as you can see here, very flexible and not rigid at all, so I would definitely be careful about doing that. Uh, another thing I would say also regarding the space bar is that it doesn't have this double shot like the other ones do, and that's most likely because they don't have the extra key legend on there and uh, I feel like just because they did that to this one it is more rigid so if they did that to this one maybe it would improve it but uh, as far as that goes I know they are budget keycaps and there's really not much to complain about uh, because that's pretty much what you pay for you get low quality and not as good quality control when using and getting these keycaps uh, so you will notice that as soon as you pick these up what I will say about the Taihao keycaps is that overall for the price that you pay of $15 uh, or even $30 it is not an entirely bad set to have just because it is an entry level setup which is definitely affordable for newer users and I would definitely recommend it if you are trying to build a custom keyboard such as the Tofu and can't afford to spend the extra money on G GMK keycaps or EPBT at a price of around $100 or more then I would definitely recommend these as a filler keycap for the time being. Overall, I do like the aesthetic. They do have a cool look to them. I do appreciate the fact that they have contrast as well, just like the other keycaps. And uh, they will definitely do for the time being until a lot of my GMKs come in from Group Buzz. But yes, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. This is the Taihao keycap set. This is the Dolch color. And the other color, which I was previously reviewing, is the Olivetti. They are $15 on Mashdrop. They currently may be out of stock and will be eventually restocking them in their group buys in the long term. Overall, in comparison, uh, the quality in comparison to many of the Amazon options, I think is superior just because they are double shot and they have a better variety of coloring. I really appreciate the fact that they gave these extra keycaps as well as larger and different keycap sizes for custom keyboard builds. Well guys, that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe, and if you have any questions or suggestions regarding these keycaps, feel free to leave in the comments below. I'll see you in the next one. Stay awesome. Peace.